Well, for the first time in more than 25 years, the city of Vincennes will not host a primary election. Election officials say no one turned out to toss their hat in the ring. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the story. News 10's Eric Stidman has the story from our Southern Bureau. Time is ticking at the Knox County Courthouse, and while the hands on this clock tower continue to keep time, time has all but stopped in terms of a May primary election. I've actually worked in the clerk's office for 25 years helping with the election, and yeah, it's the first time since I've been here that I can remember this happening. Knox County Clerk Terry Allen says nobody filed to run in the primary. Keep in mind, the city will have contested races this fall. The mayor's seat is up for grabs, as well as city clerk treasurer and all of the city council seats. Democrats didn't have anybody running against a Democrat, and the Republicans had nobody running against a Republican. So when there's no opposition in a primary, there's nobody to pick. The primary election serves as a vehicle to allow parties to pick a candidate. Right now, Vincennes Mayor Joe Yoakum is the Democrats candidate. No Republican stepped forward for a primary nod. Allen says that doesn't mean much yet. The political pandemonium is just starting. If no Republican filed to run for mayor in the, before the primary period was up, then um, they can come back. Well, there's speculation. Election officials have to host a vote to cancel the primary. Allen says Indiana statute allows the city to just opt out. The benefit of no May primary also means no money spent. It was right around $18,000. While the clock tower at the Knox County Courthouse keeps watch over its courtyard, there's a general election brewing in a not-so-distant future. In Vincennes, I'm Eric Stidman, News 10. The deadline to register to run for the general election is June 30th. Election officials believe that's when people can expect to have a better idea of who is running.